Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're talking about emulation on the Steam Deck. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, I've been asked a ton about emulation on the Steam Deck, whether or not it can do it, and how good is it going to be? I've touched on this a little bit in previous videos, but here we are directly addressing it. Now to level set here, this is speculation. If you hear about any news from anyone anywhere, at this point in time, it's going to be speculation. But if we take a look at the stats, we get a really good idea of what the system can do and what it can't. The CPU inside of the Steam Deck is one of the most important components in terms of emulation. And we have a Zen 2 four core eight thread running between 2.4 to 3.5 gigahertz. The APU power is four to 15 watts. So the overall power to this isn't the most, but at the same time, this is a fairly recent and fairly decent chip. Without any sort of modifications whatsoever, right out of the box, the Steam Deck will be able to run RetroArch, and that's because RetroArch will be available on Steam. If you take a look at the core list on RetroArch, there's a ton of different systems here. I'm not gonna go through every single one because we'd be here forever. I'll leave a link in the description below if you wanna check them out, or you can just check out in RetroArch yourself. But if we take a look, you can see it goes back all the way to the Atari and actually before that. And it goes all the way up to stuff like the PlayStation 2. And we even have Nintendo GameCube on here and Nintendo Wii. I'm assuming most systems through RetroArch will be playable, including the Nintendo 3DS. I know that was one of the big questions. Given the specs of the system, I don't see why it wouldn't be playable. I also think that the GameCube and Wii emulation via Dolphin is going to be a given. In fact, I actually think the Steam Deck will be able to emulate the Wii U via CMU. This one is a little bit of a toss up due to the graphics drivers, but at the end of the day here, I do think it'll play Wii U games. I'm also fairly confident that PlayStation 2 games via PCSX2 will be playable. I don't necessarily know how well they'll run, but I'm pretty sure they will run. And call me crazy here, but I'm almost certain it'll run Nintendo Switch games via Yuzu, a Nintendo Switch emulator. In fact, Ryujinx, another Switch emulator, has made some huge strides lately, and I wouldn't be surprised to see this running on the Steam Deck as well. Now, to give yourself a really good point of reference in terms of emulation is to check out the Aya Neo. The Aya Neo is also a handheld device. It's a little less powerful than the Steam Deck, but at the same time, people are playing Switch games on here, Wii U games on here, and PS2 games on here. The only real questions I have in terms of emulation are surrounding PS3 emulation via RPCS3 and also the Xbox 360 via Xenia or Xenia, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And that's because these emulators are really hit and miss on different systems. I mean, they are getting better, but at the same time, they're just... They're not at that state yet where you can say, hey, they'll work on pretty much everything. So at the end of the day here, I am fully expecting the Steam Deck to be an emulation beast. I am fully expecting it to probably be the best emulation handheld out there. I am a little bit worried about the cooling, but at the same time, it's designed to play AAA games, AAA PC games. So I'm assuming they have something fairly decent going on there. And now I haven't even gotten into the best part yet. And that is custom operating systems. Think along the lines of something like RetroPie for the Raspberry Pi. If you have a custom tailored operating system for the Steam Deck specifically designed for emulation, well, that could do the console wonders. But anyways, that is all I've got for today. And remember, these are just my expectations for what's gonna be available on the Steam Deck. We won't know until we have one. And emulation is gonna be the first thing I check out. Let me know your thoughts about emulation on the Steam Deck in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.